everybody. I'm Miss Pess from the Half Hollow Hills Community Library. Welcome to story time today. Today's story is The Wind Blew. It's by Pat Hutchins. And this is a story that's told in rhyme. It's a funny story about what happens when the wind blew and all the objects that it picks up and blows through the sky and all the people that it affects. Okay, so let's get ready for The Wind Blew. It takes place in the countryside in England and it's dedicated to Mark. The wind blew. And while I'm reading the story, I want you to pay particular attention to the objects because those will be the craft uh, items that will be included in your craft kit that you'll pick up. <clears throat> The wind blew. It took the umbrella from Mr. White and quickly turned it inside out. It snatched the balloon from little Priscilla and swept it up to join the umbrella. Now we have an umbrella and a balloon. And you can see there's a wedding going on, so those people will be joining as well. And not content, it took a hat. So now we've got one, two, three people. And still not satisfied with that? It whipped a kite into the air and kept it spinning round up there. This wind is pretty, pretty blustery today. It's pretty strong. In a story. Okay, it grabbed a shirt left out to dry and tossed it upward to the sky. It plucked a hanky from a nose and up and up and up it rose. Look at all those items just floating up in the air from the wind, propelled up there. It must be very windy where they are. It lifted the wig from the judge's head and didn't drop it back. Instead, you can see the wig up there? The kite, the balloon, the umbrella, hat. Look at all the people. Let's see what happened to that wig. It whirled the postman's letters up. See, there's the flag of England and there is the, the bobby guarding something, an important building. Let's see what happened to that mail up floating up in the air. We need our mail, it's important. Um, it blew so hard, it quickly stole a striped flag fluttering on a pole. Again, the, the flag of England. It pulled the new scarves from the twins and tossed them to the other things. So now we've got all of this stuff up in the sky. And the people can't reach them. You see them reaching and trying to grab them back? It sent the newspapers papers fluttering around, then tired, of the, then tired of the things it found. Looks like the wind is dying down now. Let's see what's happening. It's blowing through the air. It mixed them up. So it's mixing everything up now. I wonder if they'll, it'll return everything, if everything will come down. Let's see what happens. And it mixed them up and threw them down. Okay. So they, they did get their items returned. And blew away to the sea. So the wind blew out. It was done doing its, its little uh, thing there. Nobody got hurt. Everybody got their items returned. It was just an inconvenience. It was just a nuisance. And that's the end of the wind blow. Stay tuned for the craft and I will talk about um, the project you'll be making. What it is, is you'll be getting a piece of paper and you've got um, some objects to cut out. 
um, paper, some fabric, and you'll glue them down on, on, you know, on, on your paper. So you're, you're gonna make your own picture of the wind blue using the, uh, the items that were in here. So um, I'll go through the book, I'll have the book there and I'll talk about it as I'm um, you know, showing you my, uh, my example of it. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for the craft. Bye. Hi everybody. Welcome back to the craft portion of The Wind Blue by Pat Hutchins. When you pick up your kit in the, in the bag, this is what you will find. You're going to make a windy day collage. So the first thing you'll do is you'll open it up. You may have to uh, unroll the paper a little like that. And let's go through what's in your kit. As I said, uh, this will be uh, a collage, and what this is is you are finding objects that were in the story, and I'll go through how to put them together. So on the white fabric will be, um, we've got things I traced. So we've got the scarves from the, for the, the twin girls. Uh, here's the British flag, which I colored in. Um, and this is the shirt that was hanging on the line. This is the handkerchief. Okay. Then you've got uh, a black hat traced on this stencil in pencil. You've got a kite, which is in yellow. Uh, the kite in the book is yellow and orange. So if you want, you can put the orange triangles here. You can divide, or you can leave it, uh, uh, you know, as it is. You're going to be cutting these out. There's a combination of cutting, coloring, and, and gluing. So you will need magic markers. You will need a glue stick or glue. If you don't have magic markers, crayons work just as well. I tested it out here with green, so that would work as well. Colored pencils even. This is the blue balloon. This is, oh, this is the, um, the judge's wig. So this is white yarn, which you can cut again and again if you like to make the judge's wig like that, okay? Um, oh, the umbrella, this was, yeah, this is the inside out umbrella. So you will have a stencil. This is, a, the yellow is cardstock, so it's a little heavier. So it's traced on there. So you and your child will cut this out, okay? Then you'll take the construction paper, which is here, okay? You will trace it on. Like that and then you'll cut it out with the scissors um, again parent and child working together this is a great opportunity for preschoolers to work on their cutting skills they can you know they're learning day by day so it might be that you're turning the paper while they're cutting or your your hand is on their hand while they're cutting um, and it does work with child safety scissors because I tried that out okay you also have um, black yarn. Uh, this was this goes with the balloon. You can cut that. You would, you're going to cut that in half and use the other half for your kite. Okay, and then we've got some. Um, there was a lot of mail uh, flying through the air, you know, um, with that was being blown around by the wind. So this is great to just go like this and make some mail. So. To, let's recall the other um, things that we saw in the book. There was a tree. You can draw a tree over here. You can draw, there was a stone wall. There was a church because there was a wedding going on. We saw those people. And one by one, they joined in the, in the parade of their, because their stuff was being blown away, so they were chasing along with it. So it actually ends up looking like a parade, not a traditional parade like we think of with a marching band and uh, people marching along. Um, there was a, a shirt which came off um, the clothesline. So uh, as you cut these objects out, you're gonna glue them on like that. We've also got so I would suggest if you don't remember the colors of everything, go back and rewatch the video and refresh your memory. 
we, we, I've read this book a number of times, so I also looked back to see what colors things were, um, so that helped reinforce my memory there. Um, we've got the flag, we've got the handkerchief, and that's it. So I'll just cut out, let's start with the kite, for instance. Just a diamond, like that. And what you can do with your scraps are add them to your collage because um, if you remember, or if you've ever witnessed what happens when the wind blows, it blows around everything, everything that's on the ground, everything that's not uh, secured. So that would also make your windy day picture very interesting um, and unique. So. For example, that's that. Here's the balloon. And I'm going to use that other piece of string for my balloon. So there you have it. The windy day, the wind blew. And I hope you enjoy making your project.